Admo helps you to organize your data and access it easily from within one software. In this video tutorial, you will learn where to find all of the important documents and information that you will need for your work. In Admo, you can manage metadata, such as power system data, relay settings and their different versions, documentation, test reports, and software, such as the firmware of a relay. This keeps all of your relevant data in one place. Okay, let's see where you can find your data in the software. In general, there are two main locations. The main overview with all the asset data and the administration section where you can find the type library. In the location pane, we can see the substations, voltage levels, and feeders of our power system. If we select the 110 kV feeder, for example, the asset pane now displays all assets of this feeder. When we select a relay, we can see all past and planned events at the bottom of the window. If we double click on the relay, we can open a dialog with all the details of the device. However, before we take a closer look at this, let's go to the type library. The type library gives you an overview of all asset kinds managed in Admo. You can edit them and attach type data. Also, you can define and store settings files or master settings which can serve as the basis for all further setting revisions. The General Data tab shows some basic information and the default maintenance settings. In order to change these settings, however, you will need administrator rights. In the next two tabs, Asset Attachments and Test Templates, you will find asset-specific attachments such as user manuals and test templates. These files will be available as linked documents at the assets later on. The Firmware tab gives us information about the last initiated firmware update. And finally, in the Settings section, the settings file of the relay is displayed. Here, you can also define master settings. Now, let's have a look at an asset directly. In the asset dialog, you can see all the metadata of the selected relay, including the information from the type library. The firmware tab is only visible for protective relays. As soon as your asset manager has initiated a firmware update, an exclamation mark icon is then displayed. Next, in the settings tab, you see which settings are currently active on the relay and also planned updates. Please watch our tutorial on how to manage setting revisions for more information. As we can see from the icon in the maintenance tab, our relay's maintenance is due. The tab itself gives us more information on the defined timeline and the last and planned events. Finally, in the History tab, Admo automatically tracks the most important changes you make in the Asset Dialog, such as firmware updates. Now you have seen how Admo helps you to organize your data and access it easily from within one software. Please also watch our other Admo video tutorials to learn more about this software.